1940s, 50s, and 60s, at the height of the tobacco industry, Wilson was king. Not only was Wilson known as the world's greatest tobacco market, it was also the world's largest flu-cured tobacco market. But then things changed, and the tobacco industry was not what it had been in the past. Wilson found itself at a crossroads. We're standing right now in the heart of what was once the world's largest tobacco market. And this building we're in is now known as the High Dollar Warehouse. It was formerly the Cinnabrick Warehouse. My name is Henry Walston, and I'm a local businessman. My family has run an auto parts business in Wilson for 93 years. I'm the third generation in my family to manage the business. It's very important to me as a person to revitalize this building. When I was a child, I came here with my father to the tobacco auctions. The whole downtown area was bustling with activity. Our goal is to reinvigorate this beautiful old historic building, which will in turn help reinvigorate the entire historic downtown Wilson. <laughs> and Wilson's come a long way. And we're going to One of the incredible things about Wilson is its long history of vision. Whether business leaders, government leaders, industry leaders, all have had vision for Wilson. As is evidenced back in the early 1900s, when Wilson was one of the first cities in North Carolina to not only distribute electricity, but to generate it as well. Wilson leaders knew that in order for Wilson to grow and be competitive, they had to take control of their own destiny. The story of Wilson is really a great story of a community of self-reliance. Back in the early 1900s, the community wasn't large enough and urban enough to attract investment from the investor-owned utilities to build a power system. So the city fathers got together and they figured out a way to make it happen. And that was the roots of our public power system. Today, Wilson Energy serves customers in five counties across eastern North Carolina. In the last 10 years, our big infrastructure investment has been broadband. Uh, we have built a community broadband system with fiber to the home access for every citizen in our community. The system's named Greenlight and we have become North Carolina's gigabit city. We would have never been able to take on this initiative if we were not a public power community. We had employees that were already familiar with how to handle lines and we owned the poles and we had bucket trucks and we had capacity and capability in our employees and in our staff to even dream of a project of this magnitude. And we believe that this investment will be transformational for our community, just as those electric lines that were put up in the early 1900s changed our community. Today, these fiber optic lines and this broadband system is preparing our community for the future. Bala Simpson was one of my heroes. He had been fascinated with wind power since he was in the Army Air Corps during World War II and he worked on airplanes and he made a wind-powered washing machine to wash the laundry for the troops. And so he started making these things and erecting them in the field at his farm. At this point, we've documented that people have visited from 22 countries and 46 states. So it's a big deal right here in Wilson. It's a, an amazing arts asset. Each 
Each year in downtown Wilson, there's the Whirligig Festival, an opportunity to celebrate the work of Wallis Simpson and other local artists. It's a wonderful day with more than 30,000 people in attendance, a day of fun for the entire family. Wilson is poised and ready for the future. But in looking to the future, it's not forgetting the present. Wilson is a vibrant city full of life with economic opportunity and unmatched quality of life. Being a public power community has helped us make these investments that has really changed the course of our community for the better. In a very short time, this building will be reborn with 80 apartments in it, a beautiful retail area, and a Wallace Simpson Whirly Gig Museum. Just as you might have an important, significant building in your community and you don't want that to be torn down, think about the Wallace Simpson Whirly Gig Park as this amazing creation of kinetic sculpture that has been badly deteriorating because it's been outside and exposed to hurricanes and sun and wind and weather for 30 plus years. And would, if we were not doing this, eventually fall apart. We have a chance to save it. And we have a chance to increase the tourism coming here and revitalize the whole town. I invite everyone to come because Wilson, North Carolina will be a true destination. Wilson, a crossroads of charm and innovation.